Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Emma, piloting Boros Convoke with Gigantha the Wellspring as the companion. This deck looks to flood the board with tokens, then convoke out powerful high-cost creatures. Her opening hand contains a Thraben Inspector, Giant Killer, Inspiring Vantage, Needle Verge Pathway, Resolute Reinforcements, Venerated Loxodon, and her London Mulligan is a Den of the Bugbear. Next, we have TK, piloting Abzan Greasefang. This is a combo deck that uses its namesake card to reanimate Parhelion II and attack with an army of angels. TK's opening hand contains two Stitcher Supplier, Parhelion II, Besaju Who Endures, Branchloft Pathway, Thoughtseize, and a Caves of Koilos. Without further ado, let's kick off this great gumptious gruesome gunslinging. Emma wins the Hand Fist Challenge and gets to start us off. Emma plays an Inspiring Vantage for turn. She casts Thraben Inspector. Inspector enters and Emma creates a clue. She passes the turn. TK draws and plays a Caves of Koilos. He taps it to help cast Thoughtseize, targeting Emma. Emma reveals her hand, discards Venerated Loxodon, and TK loses two life. He ships the turn back to Emma. Emma draws and plays a Pillar Verge Pathway. She moves to combat and attacks TK with Thraben Inspector. TK takes the hit and Emma ends her turn. TK draws and plays a Boulder Loft Pathway. He taps Caves of Koilos to help cast Stitcher Supplier. Supplier enters and TK mills three cards. He passes. At the end of TK's turn, Emma flashes in a Resolute Reinforcements. Reinforcements enters and she creates a 1-1 Soldier. Emma draws and plays an Inspiring Vantage into play untapped. She moves to combat and attacks TK with everything. TK blocks 3-Bin Inspector and before damage, Emma cracks her clue and draws a card. Then TK takes the rest and Stitcher Supplier dies. It triggers and TK mills 3. In her second main phase, Emma casts a Giant Killer. She ships the turn to TK. TK draws and plays a Caves of Koilos. He taps it to cast another Stitcher Supplier. It enters and TK mills 3. He takes another damage from Koilos to cast a Can't Stay Away targeting Greasefang, Okiba Boss, and his graveyard. Greasefang enters and TK moves to combat. Greasefang triggers and he returns a Seekus Chariot to the battlefield with haste. Chariot triggers and TK creates two cats. He crews Chariot with Greasefang. He attacks Emma with the Chariot. Chariot triggers and he creates another cat. Emma takes the hit and TK passes, bouncing a Seekus Chariot. Emma draws and plays a Sacred Foundry into play untapped, paying two life. She casts Resolute Reinforcements. It enters and she creates a Soldier. She casts a Reckless Bushwhacker for its Surge cost. It enters and gives her other creatures plus one, plus oh, and haste until the end of turn. She moves to combat and attacks TK with everything. TK blocks Bushwhacker with Stitcher Supplier, Giant Killer with a cat, and two soldiers with one cat each. All six creatures die and TK takes the rest. Stitcher Supplier triggers and TK mills three. Emma ends her turn. TK draws and plays a Besaju who endures. He casts a Seekus Chariot. It enters and TK creates two cats. He moves to combat and Greasefang triggers. He returns a Seekus Chariot to the battlefield with haste and the other is put into the graveyard. It enters and he creates two more cats. He crews Chariot with Greasefang. He attacks Emma with the Chariot. It triggers and TK creates another cat. Emma takes the hit and TK passes, bouncing his Chariot. Emma draws and pays three to put Gigantha into her hand. She gives the turn back to TK. TK draws and recasts a Seekus Chariot. It enters and he creates two cats. He moves to combat, triggering Greasefang. He returns a Seekus Chariot to the battlefield with haste, keeping the new one. Chariot enters and he creates two cats. He crews Chariot with Greasefang. He attacks Emma with the Chariot and five cats. Emma blocks the Chariot and two cats and then takes the rest. TK passes, bouncing Chariot. 
Emma draws and plays a Pillar Verge Pathway. She casts Jagatha the Wellspring. She ends her turn. TK draws and plays a Concealed Courtyard into play tapped. He casts Scrapwork Mutt. It enters and he discards Parhelion the Second and draws a card. He moves to combat and Grease Fang triggers. He returns Parhelion the Second to the battlefield with haste. He crews Parhelion with Grease Fang. He attacks Emma with everything. Parhelion triggers and TK creates two angels attacking Emma. Emma takes it all, dies, and TK wins the game. Before game two, Emma moves to sideboard. She brings in three Rending Balling and three Invasion of Gobacon for some removal and disruption. She removes three Clarion Spirit, a Reckless Bushwhacker, and a Voldaren Epicure. TK also moves to sideboard. He brings in two Sky Sovereign console flagship for removal. He takes out Shieldred the Apocalypse and Rafine's Informant. In this game, Emma's opening hand contains a Rending Volley, Venerated Loxodon, Den of the Bugbear, Giant Killer, Resolute Reinforcements, Sacred Foundry, and a Needle Verge Pathway. TK's opening hand contains a Concealed Courtyard, Lenawar Wastes, a Rafine's Informant, Parhelion II, Grizzly Salvage, and his Lenin Mulligans are Grease Fang Okiba Boss and a Plains. And Emma gets to start us off. Emma plays a Pillar Verge Pathway. She casts a Giant Killer. She passes. TK draws for turn and plays a Concealed Courtyard into play untapped. He ships the turn. Emma draws and plays a Den of the Bugbear into play untapped. She moves to combat and attacks TK with Giant Killer. TK takes it and Emma ends her turn. TK draws and plays an Overgrown Tomb into play untapped paying two life. He casts Rafine's Informant. Informant enters and TK connives, drawing and discarding Barhelion the second, putting a counter on Informant. He passes. At the end of TK's turn, Emma casts Resolute Reinforcements. It enters and she creates a soldier. Emma draws and plays a Pillar Verge Pathway. She convokes her creatures to help cast Venerated Loxodon. Loxodon enters and puts a plus one plus one counter onto her creatures that convoked it. She passes. TK draws and plays a Land of War Wastes. He casts Stitcher Supplier. Supplier enters and TK mills three. He ends his turn. Emma draws and plays a Sacred Foundry into play untapped, paying two life. She casts Resolute Reinforcements. It enters and she creates a Soldier. She casts Reckless Bushwhacker for its surge cost. It enters and gives her other creatures plus one plus oh and haste until the end of turn. She moves to combat and attacks with everything. TK blocks Giant Killer with Rafine's Informant and Venerated Loxodon with Stitcher's Supplier. Giant Killer, Informant, and Supplier die and TK takes the rest. Supplier triggers and TK mills three. Emma passes. At the end of Emma's turn, TK taps Lanawar Wastes to help cast Grizzly Salvage. He reveals the top five and puts Grease Fang, Okiba Boss, into his hand and the rest into his graveyard. Emma ships her turn. TK draws and plays a Boulder Loft Pathway. He casts Grease Fang, Okiba Boss. He moves to combat and Grease Fang triggers. He returns Parhelion the second to the battlefield with haste. He crews Parhelion with Grease Fang. He attacks Emma with Parhelion. Parhelion triggers and TK creates two angels attacking Emma. Emma takes the hit and TK passes, bouncing Parhelion. Emma draws and moves to combat. She attacks TK with everything. Before blocks, she casts Rending Volley, killing one of TK's angels. TK takes lethal, and Emma wins the game. Before game three, TK moves to sideboard. He brings in three Fatal Push and one Abrupt Decay. He removes four Thoughtseize, preferring creature removal over hand disruption. Emma has no sideboard changes. In this game, TK's opening hand contains two Scrapwork Mutt, Grease Fang, Okiba Boss, Witherbloom Command, Baseju Who Endures, Caves of Koilos, and an Overgrown Tomb. Emma's opening hand contains two Venerated Loxodon, Plains, Den of the Bugbear, Voldaire and Epicure, Thraben Inspector, and a Knight Captain of Eos. And TK gets to start us off. TK plays an Overgrown Tomb into play tapped and passes. Emma draws for turn and plays a Den of the Bugbear into play untapped. She casts Voldaire and Epicure. It enters, dealing one damage to TK, and she creates a Blood Token. She casts an Ornithopter and gives the turn back to TK. TK draws and plays a Caves of Koilos. He taps it to help cast Witherbloom Command. He mills three, returning Caves of Koilos to his hand and gives Epicure minus three minus one, killing it. TK passes. Emma draws, plays a Plains, and passes back. TK draws and plays a Caves of Koilos. He taps it to help cast Grease Fang, Okiba Boss. He moves to combat, Grease Fang triggers, returning a Seekish Chariot to the battlefield with haste. Chariot enters and he creates two cats. He crews Chariot with Grease Fang. He attacks Emma with the Chariot. It triggers and TK creates another cat. Emma takes it and TK moves to his end step. It seeks his chariot bounces and still in the end step, Emma casts resolute reinforcements. It enters and Emma creates a soldier and the turn moves to Emma. Emma draws and casts Thraven Inspector. Inspector enters and Emma creates a clue. She ships the turn back to TK. TK draws and plays a Baseju who endures. He casts Grizzly Salvage. He reveals the top five, puts a mana confluence into his hand and the rest into his graveyard. He casts Scrapwork Mutt. It enters and TK discards a Seekish Chariot and draws a card. He moves to combat and in response, Emma casts Rending Volley, killing Grease Fang. TK ships the turn. Emma draws and casts Ornithopter. She taps her creatures to convoke Venerated Loxodon. Loxodon enters, putting a plus one plus one counter onto the creatures that convoked it. She ends her turn. TK draws and plays a Caves of Koilos. He casts Grizzly Salvage. He reveals the top five, puts Blooming Marsh into his hand and the rest into his graveyard. He casts Scrapwork Mutt. It enters and TK discards Sky Scoffer and Console Flagship and draws a card. He ships the turn to Emma. Emma draws and taps her creatures to convoke another Venerated Loxodon. 
It enters, putting a 1-1 counter onto the creatures that convoked it. She moves to combat and attacks TK with venerated Loxodon. TK blocks with a scrapwork mutt, it dies, and Emma passes her turn. TK draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He taps it to help Flashback, can't stay away, targeting Greasefang. Greasefang enters, and TK moves to combat. Greasefang triggers, returning Parhelion the second to the battlefield with haste. He crews Parhelion with Greasefang. He attacks Emma with Parhelion. It triggers, and TK creates two angels attacking Emma. Emma takes the hit, and TK moves to his end step. Greasefang triggers, bouncing Parhelion, and still in the end step, Emma sacrifices a blood token, discarding and drawing. Emma draws, takes no actions, and passes. TK draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He taps it to help unearth Scrapwork Mutt. Mutt enters, and TK discards Parhelion to draw a card. He casts Witherbloom Command, milling three and returning a land, and draining Emma for two. He moves to combat, triggering Greasefang and returning Parhelion to the battlefield with haste. He crews Parhelion with Greasefang. He attacks Emma with Parhelion, the two angels, and Scrapwork Mutt. Parhelion triggers, and TK creates two more angels attacking Emma. Emma cannot block it all, dies, and TK wins the match. Wow, what an aggressive match. Congrats to TK on his win. In Game 1, TK used the Seeker's Chariot to full effect, creating an unstoppable army of cats. In Game 2, Emma fired back with great speed to overwhelm TK, even through a Parhelion. And in Game 3, TK kept up the pressure with Greasefang and can't stay away to beat Emma's removal. The most valuable card in tonight's match, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Greasefang, Okiba Boss. Greasefang can put a game-winning amount of power into play very quickly. It also does double duty by recurring utility vehicles as well. And all of this is on top of the fact that it can crew all of the vehicles it reanimates. When in doubt, a 4-3 creature for 3 mana is very powerful all on its own. Well that about wraps it up for this Pioneer match. What deck did you like the most? What would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.